Thank you so much for all the distinguished uh, speakers. So now we'll go to uh, discussion. So anyone who has uh, a question or comments, please uh, let's raise his hand and uh, Dr. Ala will uh, uh, control this part of the discussion. Well, thank you, Dr. Thank Abbas. You, Dr. Uh, it was it was a, an honor to be part of this discussion. Uh, all the participants, uh, their presentation was variable, rich in their materials. They have covered different areas and sites from Iraq, which give us, I think, a good uh, look and uh, a great uh, a, pre a great uh, image for what is tangible heritage and intangible heritage that we have, and what is uh, missing. Uh, in terms of their opportunities in developing long-term sustainable uh, development. So, yes, uh, uh, anyone who has uh, questions uh, would like to comment, add something. We appreciate it, all your comments. Uh, I think we we thought that we can write it down in the chat box, but I think we have a problem in that area. So, so you may just uh, pop in and Ask your no, question we can, directly. We, we can use the raise your hand and ask the question. Yeah, yes, of course. Uh, Dr. Hussein Mahdi, yep. yes. I just have one question about the NGO. Do you think NGO can move freely, you know, in a free way in Iraq without, you know, yeah. To do them duties because I work in uh, several uh, organizations outside Iraq more than 11 years. I can see more space outside from Iraq. Even even non-government organization is controlled by government or some government institute. So, anyone who would like to comment on that? Yes, uh, Doctor. Um, may I just comment? Uh, Thank you for the question. <clears throat> As said, the, the uh, international organizations um, um, are accessing countries based on the agreement with the government. So, um, the, I mean, all, I cannot say the majority of all of them um, are working within the uh, 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 certain agreement with the government and also with uh, certain memorandum of understanding uh, that regulate their intervention in different uh, areas and fields. So um, the the freeness that they have to work in a specific field is actually uh, based on the intervention that they are willing to do. Um, in, in a country, as, as of my experience working with uh, international NGOs in, in Iraq for more than uh, 18 years, the the, the, the space that's given to NGOs are widely uh, widening are I, and are being uh, very much uh, 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 understood uh, by the government. Uh, their important role and intervention uh, has been welcomed, uh, I believe, year and year, uh, as long as they respect the laws and instructions and regulations of the countries they are working in. Thank you, uh, Doctor. Over to you. Well, I, I also have a few questions. Uh, let me start by Doctor O'Day because your uh, presentation was uh, basically architecture background. So I was interested in ask you uh, a few specific questions around how we can raise the awareness towards understanding the intangible heritage for the people. Uh, so, not just by uh, towards the community, how can we raise their understanding to appreciate it, their community and the humanitarian heritage that surrounding this uh, community, not just the physical urban environment? Thank you. This is a great question. It's very important to the community to know their uh, what they have and how how can they preserve these uh, things. Uh, as example, as I. No, my, my study in PhD is about the uh, intangible uh, elements in the old Mosul city. Uh, but after I uh, make my proposal defense in 2014, uh, what happened to, to the Mosul, it's occupied by ISI, and I couldn't come back to 
uh, to collect the data. Then I transfer my uh, study to also World Heritage Site in Malaysia, which is uh, Georgetown in Penang. Uh, I discover many things during uh, this my study. They engage the government, engage the uh, uh, NGOs and uh, many uh, organization uh, and uh, uh, all, all experts from universities to uh, to pr present to the uh, local people what they have. Even the even my study, I couldn't start without I go to the uh, some uh, office and get approved that we they need this study because uh, they want to show something to to the people. Uh, so. Uh, from my uh, view in, in the uh, in the uh, Mosul during uh, these uh, two three years uh, ago, I discovered also that the non uh, organized non government organization they work better than the even the academic to show the people uh, what they have the importance of these things uh, because uh, you know uh, some uh, this organization is a local and they know what they the people want to to show. Not just uh, 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 streets and building. No, there is something in depth they want to know. Uh, even uh, stories, uh, uh, dance, food, lifestyle. They want everything to be clear and origin, original to present on front of them, and they know what is the value of this. The problem here. Uh, Maybe in all all Iraq uh, uh, cities, uh, especially the old cities, uh, we I can not say it a heritage city because it should be listed, and we we try to work to find the missing items that uh, why uh, most of our cities that have a great history not listed in the World Heritage Site, which is which is it has some problem. It, Think with the intangible or the uh, tradition of, of that uh, cities. So, the people they said what we benefit from the heritage. We need, we need something else. Okay, we we live in this city, but what 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 can uh, the profit from from the heritage city? If our city being heritage, this they like, it will be uh, help the people to know by uh, maybe show them example or make uh, exhibition live exhibition in the in the street about the history or the uh, element cultural element of the city they i am sure all all the city in iraq when we make some festival like this they will be proud to be one from these cities uh, like i see in, in 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 malaysia the same thing there is many festivals the the city should be every time livable to <clears throat> encourage the people to stay in the city and work in the city and do, don't leave their their <clears throat> tradition because this tradition maybe in Malaysia they 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 look to the uh, 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 tourism thing uh, which is the uh, like part of the economic uh, resource from them but also it's these people maybe can can engage them. In, in, in these things, like if the cities be uh, a, a, a tourism, a tourist city, uh, it will help the authority to try to uh, uh, keep what they uh, learn from old generation and to present to the uh, present generation and then to the future. And this is the sustainability of the cultural heritage. It's the, uh, every time will be work like this. So I think the NGOs is part of from uh, this thing that the because it's in touch with the people, in touch with the local people. They can show the reality of the of the of their story in the city. And also we should engage the now, everyone everyone know that there is wasta, but not to this extent. <laughs> OK, <laughs> so just like half a minute, uh, we should uh, uh, oriented our researcher and uh, postgraduate study to give them uh, 
uh, a title or a subject related to the real problem, not just uh, any problem to finish their study. We should find a point, which is, it's, I think it uh, should be a policy from the government or the author, uh, uh, local authority in the city to give some topics that we should study uh, even in anywhere, in, in any university, in any researcher, just to complete the album of the city. Thank you. Okay, I finished. Dr. Ala. Okay, uh, I'd like to uh, ask you, uh, Dr. Ade, since uh, uh, there is no other question, so I'd like to ask you why you haven't mentioned that, Dr. Um, um, for example, city of Georgetown and Penang, uh, and you make like kind of comparison study between, for example, Georgetown and uh, Mosul, because during your presentation, you haven't mentioned uh, uh, Georgetown city, for example. Yes, because the time I, I um, actually, if I want to compare or I want to uh, to uh, transfer the example of Georgetown, that it's uh, a colonial style, uh, uh, full heritage city from and listed in 2008 in the World Heritage Site, which is uh, it is every year like millions of uh, tourists, local and foreign local uh, tourists come to it, uh, which is the city is damaged uh, by the uh, Great Fire, uh, I think before 10 decade or something like this, uh, but they start. First, they make like, uh, they name it core zone. They keep the original parts that remain in the city and make a policy for this part. No one no one rehabilitate, rehabilitate or reuse this building uh, uh, material. Everything it should be uh, have permission. Then they start to another circle, which is uh, uh, buffer zone, buffer zone, which is can make some edit. And then uh, year after year, the city it's automatically by the people uh, start to get uh, the uh, original uh, image of the city. So maybe also in any city in Iraq, we can follow something like this. When we can find the the part from the city or the heritage city that have uh, original features, <coughs> or features, <coughs> not I mean not just the architecture, the arch the intangible and intangible features that included. So we can make it like a core zone for each city. Then we can <coughs> withdraw this element to uh, revive and uh, reconstruct the another part from the city. So uh, thank you. Yeah, we have we have also a question from Yusuf. Yusuf, if you yeah. can start. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, my question is also for Dr. Aday, and I, I know all the questions are for Dr. Aday, but um, I'm especially interested because I'm actually studying mostly for my PhD. Um, and f like you mentioned, qualitative research is, is the most um, effective one in tackling such an issue. So I've spoken to many locals and many of them argue that adaptation is just as significant as rebuilding historic sites. So they need infrastructure, essential services, etc. Um, and from the image that I gathered is that NGOs is, are helping with minor homes. Um, governments are paving streets like Bab el Sarai, etc and shop owners are with individual efforts reconstructing their own shops. Um, my question is, is there kind of a synchronization between NGOs and governments and shop owners to really have a comprehensive plan for the reconstruction that also includes the talented people and the craftsmen that like goldsmiths, blacksmiths, like Sayagheen, Haddadin, Najjarin, etc. Um, yeah, that's my question. Actually, this is the problem. There is no synchronous between 
uh, unsynchronous way to to work in this city. Every project start in the city. Every organization work uh, in different way. But here I am focusing on the organizations that uh, intention to the uh, intangible, the to the habits, to the customs, to the tradition of the uh, uh, old Muslim city. Uh, so it's uh, I, I say I, I want to say it, it should be not just focus on the intangible. It should be a, a balance between tangible and intangible. Because in the beginning of my presentation, I said uh, um, that the uh, human second skin or the city with the city second skin. It's how to uh, we can uh, match between the uh, physical, psychological, and emotional needs which is physical needs, as you said, they need uh, service, they need streets, but also it's the part from the psychological and emotional. So if we cannot combine all, all these needs together, okay, the city will be built again, but the habits will be changed because uh, the, or the people that live there, they, they uh, start to thought that this is a strange thing for them and we can not live there. Maybe they, they are staying there because they are uh, like to be in a traditional way. So if this traditional way is go on, they really think to, to move into the other another part of the city, which is which is uh, a normal city. Uh, so uh, from all this, we can circle like a physical element and the uh, psychological and emotional uh, factors is important to make a city livable, not just part from it. So uh, cities, when we built the city, we should consider the what the the image, the mental image of the uh, users that they have about the city. If this mental image not matched, did it match with the physical uh, physical image? the uh, existing image now it will be create a problem and some uh, some uh, uh, habits or intangible or some of the cultural heritage will be disappear maybe gradually and we we can see after the elaboration of Mosul we see in the in the old bridge when we uh, before we can I remember my father take me to the to this bridge and we stand on in front of the panorama of uh, the Mosul and he told me story about our house is here and then uh, something happened here. Now we will go to the this bridge. We see uh, uh, this look. Akfal look look and the new generation generation they start to. Uh, 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 um, Put the locks on the on the handrail of the street, which is it's very very uh, strange for the user, the original user, and like they make like uh, they they are very angry. They know this is not our culture, so they start in the night. They go out and cut and destroy this uh, locks. <laughs> so this is the issue. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, May I use this opportunity also to ask Dr. Sayed uh, just one question, please, because I cannot like resist this opportunity. Uh, I was wondering, as part of the Ministry of Planning, if there is any uh, suggestion project that could be uh, used uh, and mobilize the cultural heritage uh, between the local and uh, the local institution here in Iraq and the international institution outside maybe to uh, overcome many issues related to the community, using tourism as uh, a way to develop these places, uh, not just focusing on uh, improving the urban environment of uh, like the, uh, the tangible heritage of this community. So if there is any uh, maybe future plans that we can adopt it or uh, know about it? Yes. Yeah, I agree with the, with Dr. Ala, and I'd like to add something else because uh, develop any kind of developments and uh, urban planning uh, projects in these areas maybe also it settle the peace uh, between the, the countries the border uh, the countries which we have border with them like for example Iran. Thank you. Uh, 
Yes. Ahmad Musrahlan. You can hear me, Doctor Muhammad Said. Please go ahead. Yes, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we uh, cooperation and uh, 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 with uh, many uh, United Nations about uh, heritage uh, and and city. Uh, we uh, establish an uh, heritage city and uh, study about Basra heritage city. Uh, I uh, can uh, see about uh, I can see you about the Basra Heritage City and Mosul with the UNDP and with uh, with the Habitat uh, Organization uh, to uh, rehabilitation this uh, core uh, and uh, CBD city in uh, Basra and Mosul and another city uh, uh, in Iraq. Many city we cooperation with the uh, uh, United Na Nation agencies agency. I I can see I can see you, Doctor Ala. Yes, Doctor. Yes. Do you have any yeah. other questions? Anybody have? Uh, uh, any question because we exceed the time with two couple minutes yeah yeah i know i but we can maybe uh, but we can maybe uh, use the joining yeah use the joining room which is like from one to two that we can share or discuss our uh, subject discussion between our session and the other sessions so we can move and join these sessions from the website and okay. we have another session also will start in an hour with uh, Dr. Ali Naji. He will be the chair of that session. So can we take a picture uh, for everyone? Yes, yeah, sure. If you can please, uh, open your camera, yeah, please. Open your cameras, please, everyone. So Dr. Hussain, can you take a picture for us? Dr. Hussain Mahdi. Print screen. Dr. Hussain. Yes, uh, Dr. Muhammad, uh, please open your camera, please. Dr. Muhammad Sayyid. Dr. Dafai, if you can open your camera, if you are here. So I think that only only five of us who can take picture. So I'll. Um, how oh, can I take picture? Dr. Alak, oh, yes. Dr. Haider, so please, yes, take picture. I don't know how can I take picture because this is this idea comes from uh, wow. Dr. Hussein, so I'm not very expert on that. Prince Green, Prince Green, just take uh, uh, yes, Prince Green, but we are. We are mutakhalifin, as you know, because we are not from the young generation. <laughs> By the way, all the world going oh, to yeah. the digitalized, digitalized world. We need to upgrade yourself. <laughs> you can see. Yeah, so, yeah, everyone there, thank you so much. Thanks for your distinguished uh, speeches. And hopefully, inshallah, we can see you in the future. Tangibly, tangibly, like, tangibly, like... Uh, uh, it's against uh, Dr. Ade. We can see you tangibly. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for invitation. Thank you very Thank you much. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thanks to everybody.